Welcome, I've been doing a series of videos on this HDMI to USB adapter, and I'll put a link in the description of this item on eBay, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'm also going to compile the videos I've made into a playlist, and I'll put a link below to that playlist. So in this video, I'm going to talk about recording video using QuickTime on a Mac, using this adapter. So go over to QuickTime, and you can find this in your application folder, it's just called QuickTime Player. And then if you go to File, and then New Movie Recording, this will allow you to record a webcam or from your FaceTime camera or things like that. So right now I have the adapter plugged into my Mac. And if I go down here next to the record button, you'll see a little uh, down arrow. And here you can choose your source. So I can do the FaceTime camera or USB video. And microphone I can do external microphone and USB digital audio. And then the quality has high or maximum. So when I first tried this, I had the quality on maximum, thinking I would get the best quality out of it. And that's not exactly the case. So I'm going to talk about the differences between high and maximum on here. So I'm not actually going to be recording anything during this video because I'm doing a screen capture and I didn't want that to affect the outcome because that also uses QuickTime. So I've already recorded the samples I'm going to show you, but I'll show you what I did in those samples. So this is the live screen right now on my Raspberry Pi. So this is inside a window if you're a little confused here. And I created a little video. I'll run it here. And this just has a timer on it, so it shows the frame count and then the seconds ticking away. So I'll close that. So I ran that video on the Raspberry Pi, and I recorded it on the Mac using this HDMI adapter. So I'll close out of here and I'll show you the files I got. So these are the files I recorded. I have the frame rate video, and then I have some GoPro video I did, which is 1080p by 60 FPS, and then the frame rate video is 1080p by 60 FPS also. So on the quality of QuickTime, there was a high and a max option. So you would think max is the best option, but what I found out is that the max option does 1080p at 25 FPS, or frames per second, and the high option does 720p at 60 frames per second. So depending on what you want out of your video, high may be better than max. So if you're looking for the frames per second, you know, the higher frame rate, then you may want to go with high at a lower resolution. And I've covered this in previous videos. As far as I could tell, I found no way to use 1080p at 60 FPS with this adapter. It just doesn't seem to support it. It does seem to support 1080p at 30 FPS, but QuickTime doesn't support that. So your best option is 1080p at 25 FPS using max or 720p at 60 frames per second using high. So let's take a look at these videos. So I have both of these open, and I record my screen for these at 720p, but the resolution isn't what we're talking about right here. So this is the max video. So I'll start to play it until the timer starts, okay? I'll back up here till we get to zero. So I'm going to press the arrow key. So I'm gonna, going to press it once, and it went right to two. So you see we skipped frame one. I'll press it again, and we're at four, so we skipped a frame. And that makes sense because we're only recording at 25 FPS. I'll hit it again, and then we went to seven. So we skipped five and six. Hit it again, we went to nine, and then 12, so we skipped three there. So you can see this is skipping frames as we would expect. I'll close this out, and now we have the 720p one. And I'll press the arrow, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you see we have all the frames there for the most part, but I'm going to skip ahead here. I forget the exact number, I looked at this earlier. So here we have 50, 51, 52, 53. Oh, there we go. So it's missing 53 here, so it skipped a frame. I'm not exactly sure why it skipped a frame. Maybe it couldn't keep up or something. So this isn't perfect, and this is a cheap adapter. So maybe that's worth it to you. If you don't have to spend a lot of money, you can have almost 60 FPS. And I am using a 2012 MacBook Pro. This is an eight-year-old machine. A newer Mac that might be a little bit faster might work better with this. Although this same machine can capture 60 frames per second on my Agato game capture. So, you know, your mileage may vary. So I'll close this out. And then I took a drive with my GoPro and recorded this video. And this is at max. So this is at 1080p. Like I say, I'm only showing at 720p here. And then the next one, this is the higher frame rate version. So. So I'll probably add these on to the end of this video so you can compare them and I'll export the video at 1080p by 60 FPS 
so you can see what it looked like with the capture directly. That being said, YouTube will also re-encode it, so it depends on what you're viewing it back at. So you'll have to view it back at 1080p by 60fps to see it exactly. But the video looks good with both. But like I said, if you want that 60fps, that smoother video, you're going to want to go with the high option and not the max option. So that's just some information I wanted to share when using this adapter with a Mac and QuickTime. So I did a lot of research to try and figure out how to switch the frame rate on QuickTime and I could not figure it out and I never had looked at that high option because I figured, well, I want the max quality, I don't want the high quality. And lo and behold, that was the one I needed to get 60 FPS out of this adapter. Now, if you're wicked smart and you know how to get other frame rates out of QuickTime when you're recording this, you know, drop a comment below because I've been searching all over to see if that could happen and I couldn't find a way to do that. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.